In this video we're going to discuss how you would create a report in the Cato panel. The very first thing we're going to do in this session is to have a look at the report management interface. This section is where you would create new reports and also edit the existing reports. All these reports are the reports that have already been created. Let's go ahead and create a new report. This is the new report form. You can give a report name and select a connection for the report. We've already covered the connection management in an earlier session. You can find the link to that video in the video description. There are a bunch of other options on this panel. Information about all these options is available in the product documentation, which is also linked in the video description. Now let's just click save and this will create the new report for us. The next step is defining a report data extraction query. Since we selected a MySQL-based connection in step 2, we will get an interface to type the MySQL query. If you were to select a MongoDB-based connection or an API-based connection you would get the relevant interfaces. This section here is where you would write a SQL query. There are a few buttons in the top toolbar. The schema button will let you see the MySQL database schema from the Cato panel itself. Run button will execute the query. It can also run selected query if you have selected only a part of the query. Once you run the query, you can see the result of the query in the preview box down below. The other section is the filter section. This section is where you can define filters that are injected into the query directly to let you define powerful in-place filters right inside the query. A filter has a few properties. The filter name is what the user sees when they are running the report. The filter placeholder is what the Cato platform replaces in the query. For a filter to work as expected, the filter's placeholder should exist in the query itself. Cato will then look for the filter placeholder and replace it before executing the query. You can also define other filter properties like a default value for the filter in case the user doesn't provide a value. The default value can also be dynamically calculated based on an offset definition. For example, the start date can have a default value of 10 days ago. This covers it up for the report creation in Cato. In the next video we will discuss how you would visualize the data once you've extracted it from the query. You can place it in a graph, table, pie chart, etc. and then have a bunch of visualizations on a dashboard.